So it's working off the USB, which is awesome. Um, the required CD drive is tried missing if you have a floppy disk CD drive. Okay. No drives were detected. <sighs> I can't detect my M.2. So this is another. So I didn't have the driver. Or the, uh, for the M.2. Okay. I'm curious about why this thing won't boot sometimes and why sometimes it will. <sighs> I got it working again, guys. I got it working last night. And I couldn't get it to work with Windows 7. Did a lot of research today. And there will be, it would be too much work to actually get Windows 7 to work properly on this. So this machine is not dead. I'm not sure why it keeps dying though, so that's still interesting. But Windows 10 is compatible with my hard drive. And here we are, I'm gonna try and, it's the wrong mouse. Yeah, that's everything I want. Install now. And I wanna see if this works with the NVMe SSD M.2 product key. So I'm gonna enter that in, I'll be back. And it has worked. Uh, next, upgrade, custom install. Oh, there it is. Okay. So we want to, uh, let's go new, apply. Okay. Let me do its thing. So we're gonna let this run through, install. And then uh, we'll see if this build actually uh, can work. So the computer is running with the operating system only. It is 11.15 p.m. Obviously, it isn't correct, but I need the old keyboard, get me all the old hardware out. And I'm going to test it, and then I'll be back in about an hour, see if it doesn't blue screen. And that's because it has been. Look at that red, red glow. Look at that. Love it. The mouse that changes color. This is awesome. I am updating the BIOS in the computer now that it is running and uh, this is always the most unnerving part so don't ever shut down your computer or hope for no power loss or any other sort that's why they lock out the keyboard and mouse that way you don't mess anything up because you can brick your motherboard if something was to uh, happen at this stage. You can see the time is an hour and a half later approximately and it's still running. No blue screens. So I can actually say it is alive. <laughs> uh, I gotta be honest, guys. I've taken the power off this thing and I have unplugged it and left it alone for hours and then put everything back together and now it's running again. It's been turning on and off with uh, little to no issues. Um, I say little to no issues because sometimes it'll boot up and then it'll restart again. So I'm not sure what that is. I did just do the BIOS update, so maybe that has something to do with it. So it's figuring itself out. And next is uploading drivers, and then we'll see uh, if it kills itself. So guys, I like to call this a wrap. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this PC yet. I'm kind of enjoying it working. I'm having all my old stuff with the new stuff. No blue screens, all drivers as you can see are installed. So I guess I gotta start video editing actually utilizing this PC for what it is.